per day, and they send me all throughout the day at night, too. If you have been bombarded with election text messages and phone calls, you are not alone. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. With the election now less than a week away, those messages are ramping up. CBS 8 Shannon Handy joins us live in studio. She's been working for you on ways that you can help limit them because we don't want even six more days of them. Shannon, what did you learn? Unfortunately, there are six more days of them, Marcella, but I did learn there are ways to limit them, maybe not eliminate them. I really hit a nerve with this one. Everyone I asked today appeared annoyed by the constant messaging. Companies that track these things say election text messages have exceeded election phone calls. In most cases, it's legal. Fortunately, there are ways to try and stop some of them. It happens every single day. You're being inundated with text messages and calls from campaigns asking for money or urging you to vote. You know, 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night, I'm just fed up. 10 text messages each day. I don't need but one. I asked people outside the registrar's office their thoughts. Everyone I spoke with had the same reaction. What do you think about all these messages? It's too many. According to a new report published by California Public Interest Research Group, or CalPERG, despite a federal law aimed at reducing spam calls and texts, unwanted calls are only down 17% in three years. Yet unwanted robo-texts have tripled during the same time frame. Call blocking service RoboKiller says Americans received a record 15 billion political texts in 2022. That's an average of 50 for every cell phone in the country, a record that's on track to be broken this year. Political calls and texts don't have to play by all of the same rules as other types of marketing, you know, text messages or calls. Um, but there are some rules that they need to abide by. Jen Engstrom is the state director for the Calberg Education Fund. She told me political calls are exempt from the national do not call list. As for political text messages, they're okay too. But if it's a robo text, they need your consent, something you likely gave unknowingly. You might not have realized that you gave consent by signing something online or making a donation in the past, and there was probably some fine text. So how can you stop them? For unwanted text messages, reply back with the word stop. You can also report the sender by forwarding the text to 7726 or spam. Also, depending on your mobile phone type, you may have a setting that filters messages from unknown numbers. For example, on an iPhone, open settings, tap the messages icon, and scroll to the filter unknown senders. For phone calls, Engstrom says block the number, don't answer, or if you do and there's a real person on the line, tell them to stop. Finally, she warns, be wary of scams. Don't click on links and only give money on an official site. As for how these campaigns are getting your number, campaigns are allowed to access some of the information you provide when registering to vote. Marcella, I checked my settings. Mm -hmm. It is on filter. I'm still getting these messages, yeah, but I did try and write stop today okay. after I learn that's what you're supposed to do. So I'll report back tomorrow on uh, if that eliminates any text messages. Sometimes I wonder if writing stop lets you lets them know, oh, there's a live person there. Let's keep bombarding them. So we'll have to try it out. Yeah, so scammers will do that. Okay, but not. If you write stop, they say, oh, that's a real person, and they'll kind of hone in on that. So that's why you have to be really careful with these things. And the reason we're seeing such an increase is because campaigns nowadays, they're learning that it's cheaper to campaign this way than buying a bunch of TV ads. Also, sometimes it's easier to get out the message to a wide array of people right. via text or a phone call. Well, everyone's kind of connected to their phones these days. So those, even if you're not really looking, you have to kind of look at it. I know I've, I kind of read it and I'm delete and block. And so we'll see. Yeah. yeah. So All stop right. or ignore. I have 300 unread text messages. <laughs> some do. of those are election related, some of them I are add not. I them to my blocked callers list, so whatever works. Thanks so much, Shannon. Six more days. And